Hey guys, it's Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade. And today I have eight different activity centers to show you. These are all about addition and they're all adding up through 10. So I wanted to take you through them. I made these, um, I'm gonna be using these with my five-year-old this school year. Um, so they're, they're hands-on, they're engaging, they're fun. So I wanted to show you them. And I also wanted to mention these. These are little um, number lines that I just made and these are absolutely free. You can go download them. I will leave the link below and uh, in the description box. And you can see here, I have some of them are from one to 10. Like this one is cute. It's got little pancakes. It's from one to 10. And then um, I have some activities that I'm gonna show you guys um, what you can do with these little number lines. And then some of the number lines go all the way up through 20. Let's see if I can find, this one goes to 20. And then so does this one here. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can um, use these in different activities um, and counting and things like that in a different video. But I wanted to mention them so you could go download them. And again, like I said, I'll leave them below. They're absolutely free. And I'm excited to use those this school year. But let's get right into these um, addition activities that I have here. All right, this first one is a number bonds edition. And all you need for this one are these clips. And what the kids are gonna do is they're gonna flip over a card. And on each of these cards is just a little um, kid holding an, a triangle. And this card says five. So they're gonna take their dry erase marker. Of course, this needs to be laminated so you can reuse it. And they're gonna write a five here. Now, um, if you don't wanna reuse these activities, I also made everything in black and white so you can print them out in black and white and they can just use them for, the, for one time. But I like to reuse mine so I printed out some of the things in color and some in black and white. Okay, so anyways, they're gonna write the five there that they rolled over, or they, they flipped over. And then they're going to take five clips. One, two, three, four, five. And what they will do is they will clip them on the bottom of this little guy. Okay, so it will look like that once they've clipped them on. And it also gives them pra good practice and fine motor skills, clipping them on there. Then they're gonna decide how they can separate them to make two parts. So they could do one clip on this side and four on this side. So as you see there, I slid four of them over here and one over here. So one plus four makes five. Then I could slide this one over here and rewrite my numbers and what they would write is two plus three equals five, and so on. They could see all the different combinations by sliding the clips on either side and writing the numbers that equal five. And then when they're done finding all the combinations, they would flip over the next card and they would do it for that number. All right, so that is how they would do that activity. All right, this next one is dog house edition. I have little dog houses here with numbers on them. What they're gonna do is they're gonna have these cards and they're gonna find the cards that equal the number on the doghouse. And so, since this doghouse is number six, I pulled out some of the cards that equal six, so they would have to find them. So zero plus six, and three plus three makes six, and two plus four makes six, and one plus five makes six, and see how I found the, the correct cards. Now, normally you would mix them all up and then you would have them search for the different, you, you don't have to mix all of them up if you just wanna give them a few cho choices, but have them, some of them mixed up and then they have to find the proper cards that match with the proper doghouse. And then once they find all the cards that match number six, they will go on to number four and whatever other numbers that there are. Okay. Okay, this next activity here is called, you're a math star, roll and cover. It's, it's um, got stars on it and what it is is you get two dice like this, and they're gonna roll both the dice. So I got a two and I got a three, and I'm gonna add those up. And I have the pictures on the dice to help them add if they need it, so they'd count one, two, three, four, five. So two plus three equals five. And then you can use any kind of manipulative you have to cover up the number five. Right here I have some um, star erasers. And so they would just place it on the number five and then they would roll again. And they would keep on rolling until they have covered up every single number on their star mat, okay? And like I said, you don't have to use erasers. You can use anything you want to cover up your answers. And you just keep going until the entire mat is covered. All right, this activity, all you need is 
um, dominoes to do this one and it comes with these cards which are just little different domino cards and what they do is they pick a domino I'm gonna pick a domino they place it on the card and then they have they look at the two sides so I have five on this side and four on this side so I'm gonna write five and four and I'm using a dry erase marker so I can reuse these cards and so I wrote five plus four and then I can use the dots on the domino to help me add so I have five six seven eight nine and I'm going to make nine, write nine as my answer. Okay, and then I would take that one off and I could do it on the next card and so on. And then when you're all done, after you do all the cards, you can erase them all because I did it in dry erase and reuse these over and over again. Okay, this activity is adding puzzles. And so all they're going to do is I just put three of them out here. Um, you could put more out at a time. It comes with a whole bunch of them, if you can see that in the picture. Um, and in my bag. I, I always print out the um, direction pages on uh, paper. Um, what do you call that kind of paper? The sticky kind of paper? The label paper, excuse me. And then I stick it to the bag that I keep it in. And anyways, I just pulled out three of them and then all they're going to do is match up. So two apples here and two apples here makes four. And so I would match that up with this one. And then here I have grapes. I have one, two, three, four grapes plus three grapes is seven and then here I have nine I have two three four five six seven eight nine and I'm gonna match it up so that is what they would do for that one okay for this one they're going to use any kind of blocks you have here I have unifix cubes I really like to use these and what they're going to do is they're going to look at these different cards that I have they're gonna pull one of the cards and then this one I have here on top is two plus three. So they're gonna take their Unifix cubes and they're gonna make two, and they're gonna build it. So they're gonna build two, and then they're gonna build three. You see that I have three here. And then they're going to go ahead and add it. So one, two, uh -huh. three, four, five. And so two plus three equals five. So they can either build the five, they can go one, two, actually they can build the five or they can just write it. Okay, so here you see I built five, and then I also wrote five with a dry erase marker, so I can erase it and do it again another time. But then they would just um, start over, and they would do the next card, and keep building and adding. Okay, this one is called Fishing for More. It comes with this fish tank, these little fish here, and then these cards. What they're going to do is they're going to take a card. This card says two of these kind of fish and three of these kind of fish. So he's going to put two of these and then three more of these. How many does that make? Okay, so they're going to use the fish to add it. One, two, three, four, five. Two plus three equals five. And then they're going to either, with a dry erase marker, write the number or if you have um, magnetic numbers or manipulatives like I do here, they can find the number five. Here I have little puzzle Mom, pieces and they can put that here and then that would be their answer right there. Or Mom, you can, can I get one of these? Sure. You can use um, magnets like this and they could put the number five or of course you could always use a dry erase marker right there. All right, this last activity is Go Bananas for Sums. And it has this little monkey on this mat here. It has these green cards, bananas, and these blue cards. And what their kids are gonna do is they're gonna flip over the card. It says five plus one. So they're going to get five bananas and put five bananas on this 10 frame on this side. So one, two, three, four, five, plus one. So they'll put one banana on this side and they're going to see what that adds up to. One, two, three, four, five plus one more makes six. So then they're going to look in the monkey cards for their answer, which is number six. So I'm flipping through here and there it is. And they're going to put it on their mat. Okay, then they are done with this one and they can keep on going. So they would flip over the next card. And they would do the same thing. Oh, that one equals six as well. They're going to find that out when they do, when they put their bananas on there. Um, so they will just go through and through the different cards and um, figure out their answers. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're watching this um, today, 
when I um, upload this video, there is going to be a sale on my website today, or t starting tomorrow, August 1st and August 2nd, 2017. And everything is 25% off. It's the biggest sale of the year. It's the back to school sale. So you can get all of these um, activities I just showed you here, 25% off or anything else in my store. So um, I will leave a link below to my store. I will leave a link below to where you can download all these activities. And um, thank you guys so much again for watching. You guys are awesome. And uh, we will see you next time. Bye.